All right, so that brings me to a discussion now about the Republicans who are voting against the, uh, this deal. Man, to say that the people, the, the people on the Republican side who are voting against this uh, have no idea what they're doing. I mean, they're, they're clowns. They're just utter clowns. Now, why do I say that? Because you have to look at the, at the reality, the facts on the ground, right? So what happens when we go over the fiscal cliff? Well, you have uh, some moderate tax increases on, uh, on middle class families, and you have uh, the tax rates return to the Clinton rates for people making $250,000 and above. So you have a tax hike of uh, from 35% to 39.6%, right? So make no mistake about it. Technically, we already went over the cliff. So as of today, the tax rates are what they were under the Clinton administration for everybody. Right? So taxes are higher on everybody. That's what they are. Right? So essentially, this bill that they're debating, all, with all the concessions Obama gave to the Republicans, the bill is, is full of tax cuts, left and right. Whether it's tax cuts for the 98% of Americans, except the payroll tax, which is a 2% hike, right? But still, overall, it would be uh, a tax cut, right? Or it's um, the 39.6% the rate on $250,000 and above. Those are the tax rates today. So essentially, the bill that they're debating is, is a democratically proposed bill or a bipartisan bill that says, hey, let's cut taxes massively on everybody. And the Republicans are saying, no, we're against it. And then when you ask them why they're against it, it's because they think they're voting for a tax hike. They say, I refuse to vote for, for tax hikes on people making $400,000 and above. Yeah, but wait a second. Do you not understand that this is actually a tax cut because the tax rates, all, all, the older tax rates already expired? How do you not get that? How do you not understand that? It's the most simple thing in the world. If you vote for this bill, you're voting for massive tax cuts. And you're saying you're against it because you want tax cuts. It, it literally doesn't make sense. If you're a Republican in the House and you're against this, and you know what it is? It's that they're such stringent ideologues. They're so, they so rigidly adhere to, to their ideology that they say they're essentially debating from a position of, we want like 0% taxes on everybody, right? We want to keep taxes uh, the same rates that they were throughout the entire um, Bush presidency. We want to keep it like that forever. Yeah, but that's not on the table at all. That's, it, it can't be on the table. Why? Because they're set to expire those tax rates and the Democrats won the election and they got the Senate and they technically uh, lost the House, but they, they won by 1.2 million votes, right? You have Democratic control of everything, and you want to pass an 100% Republican agenda. What are you, crazy? Do you know nothing about politics or government? God, these people are so, so, so stupid, man. Obama walks in, gives them the farm, right? Gives them almost everything they want, and then, and then what happens? They go, oh, yeah, we're against it. 